What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be putting on the Phoenix M-Lock rail mount and in the rechargeable flashlight from Phoenix. It is the TK20R. This is a fantastic flashlight. Rechargeable. You can get this thing soaking wet. It's still going to perform. So yeah, top of the line folks. And so we're going to put it on my AR-15. It's going to be probably pretty cut and dry, but if you're looking for a quick how-to, we're going to do it. If you like this kind of content, Drop me a comment down below, let me know. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a video. If you don't like this type of content, give it a thumbs down, but also let me know how I can fix or improve for your enjoyment. All right, I think that covers the intro. Let's do it. Okay, so out of the box, you've got your M-Lock rail mount, and this has a thumb wheel that makes it really easy to attach and detach. So I am going to just pop that on the very front of my rifle very first M lock and then just kind of hand tighten it and then get down on it a little bit with the Allen wrench. Tighten that dude up and then make sure that these are loose. The rail mount comes with two, one in the front, one in the back, rubber, I guess gaskets for lack of a better word. You're gonna wanna pop both of those out, just push them down, comes out like this. One in the front, one in the back. Your flashlight will not fit with those in there. So just hang on to those in case you ever want to use a different size flashlight. So here's your flashlight. Again, this is the Phoenix TK20R. Um, R, I guess, stands for rechargeable because in the neck of this flashlight, you can spin this down and there is your charging port. So I like that a lot. All right, then I'm going to slide the back off this and slide it through my roll mount the back back on and then tighten the arm down just based on how forward or backward I want this. Now I will probably have to play with this, move it around a little bit, make sure it's comfortable and feel like I can hit it with my thumb, with my hand in the appropriate spot for my foregrip. So, or my hand stop, not a foregrip. Tighten these down. I just kind of go snug. I'm not trying to rough up anything, but at the same time, I don't want recoil to send any of my equipment flying. So kind of a happy medium there. And as you can see, it's really secure, really close fitting. I don't know if I mentioned earlier that I've seen a Magpul, which I like Magpul products a lot, but the Magpul is a little less flush than this is. So as you can see, this is very, very flush and just sits nicely. There you have it, that's the job. Super easy, but if you wanted a quick tutorial, that's how you do it. Say you wanna put this on a different rifle, you are just going to shove on it and it pops right off. And then you put this whole mechanism on a different rifle. So super easy, I can't wait to use this and see how I like it in action. That's it. All right, so this is it. It feels pretty comfortable for where I have my hand stopped. I may actually end up moving it a little bit further up, but this is your end product, which I really, really like. Again, super flush, looks fantastic, and I love the Phoenix products. There you go. If you like this kind of content, drop me a comment down below, let me know, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a video. If you don't like this type of content, give it a thumbs down, but also let me know how I can fix or improve for your enjoyment. Stay free, folks.